In this presentation, we're going to look at multiple unit of measures for Microsoft Dynamics NAV. So we're going to create a new item. So let's use the templates to do it quickly. We want multiple units of measure for this item. Okay, so on the base unit of measure we create a new and let's say it's a piece. So that's our base unit of measure. But we can make another unit. So let's select palette and the palette is equals 20 pieces. We can create as many units for the same item, so a box would be this time four pieces. So we keep, yeah, pieces is, piece is the base unit of measure. And we could change the, the purchase unit of measure, the default purchase unit of measure to be pallet. So we buy by pallets. And we sell by eight boxes. What it does is when we create a document, so let's create a purchase document. And we call our item So by default, it's going to come up with a palette the purchase unit of measure. But we could still change it at this point and decide we buy that many boxes or pieces. But here we've... So we... We just buy four palettes. Let's post that and go to... Go back to the item. Now we have 80 pieces. And we go back, we go to, we drill down to the item ledger entries, 80 pieces. And we should be able to see the conversion the nav applied and the, the quantity per unit of measure. And, uh, Unit of measure code is not displayed here, but it's it's a field you can display. We'll see that later. Okay, so let's go back. So 80 pieces because 20 per unit of measure, and we could display the field. Let's just see it. It's in the table. So the unit of measure palette has been recorded as well. Now let's let's create another item quickly to show that your conversion is item specific. Last time we had, we had one pallet is equal to 20 pieces. For this item we have it in pieces, in pallet as well. But this time it's 50 pieces, pieces per pallet. So any conversion, it is item specific. Let's come, let's go to an item I've created before to show you that's a total stock. But if we go to the bin content, we have the detail per bin. One thing to know that is important is that nav maintain your bin content per unit of measures only if your location is set up to be directed, put away and pick. That's all the bins, receive, shipment, put away, pick, and directed, put away, and pick. 
in the other cases it will only maintain your bin for the base unit of measure.